play. What is sophisticated funk to you? I'm making a boulevardier with some grilled orange. I'm gonna do some Moroccan style head on shrimp. I'm also doing some roasted stone fruit. Come on over. Wait, you're making a cocktail? Yeah. It's a boulevardier. In the summertime, I like a Negroni. And then I like to put a sweater on a Negroni, and it's called a boulevardier. It's equal parts bourbon, sweet vermouth, and Campari. And today I'm gonna tweak my little uh, boulevardier a little bit. I'm gonna put a little grilled orange in it. I'm gonna chop up two of the orange slices that are grilled, and I'm gonna put them inside the shaker, just because I want some of that orange and that grill flavor to come off in the actual drink itself. Cheers. Cheers. Very nice drink. to have you. Mm. It's actually funky and elegant. By the way, this tastes like um, like sitting on a terrace on the Mediterranean. Oh, I love a boulevardier. And I love that Mark funkified it with um, charred orange. What are we doing? I went to Morocco and I had a great time. Really got to dive into the culture. So I wanted to bring a little inspiration back from there. I got some onions, I got some garlic, I got some tomatoes. I'm also doing some uh, Meyer lemons that I'm cooking in in lemon juice and a lot of salt. I'm doing a preserved lemon. I'm gonna be putting- So you're a, making a quick preserve? Preserved lemon, usually it takes a month to make it, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed that process up. I'm gonna cut my lemons into eight pieces, drop it into a little pan, a lot of lemon juice and a lot of salt, and let that lemon get cooked and get all that salt in it for about 15 minutes. I think it's gonna work. Season this up with Ras Al Hanout. Yeah. I'm using a Russell Hanout, which is a Middle Eastern spice that I found over there. There's turmeric in there, there's a little bit of cumin. I don't know all the ingredients, but the, the one I got here is just super flavorful and very warm and, and, and inviting. The Russell Hanout, salt, olive oil, and pop that in the back of the pizza oven and let that go. I've got my preserved lemon, chop it up really fine and put that preserved lemon into my base and arrange all of the head-on shrimp right on top. I'm gonna go back in the oven and those shrimp are gonna cook and just sort of melt into that beautiful sauce that I've got below it, and that's it. How are we looking? Good, I just need a towel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Onions, tomatoes, garlic, beautiful. Come on, let's eat this. I wanna try this thing. <laughs> this is really, really simple. Great little appetizer, something you could probably prepare beforehand and you know, right before you sit down, throw it in the oven, just finish it off. I think it's a great dish. That's the bite I want right there. Okay. The tomato and the onion and the garlic almost turned into a jam by the time they were cooked down with these shrimp on top of them and all the juices coming from the shrimp. It was, oh, delicious. Outrageous, beautiful, man. What's going on with the stone fruit over here? I'm gonna do that in the oven with a little port, a little cinnamon. I'm not a big baker. I'm just a chef who does not like to measure things very often. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up my stone fruit, take the stone out. I've got some plums, got some peaches, got some apricots, some cinnamon, a touch of black pepper, douse a bunch of port in there. I'm gonna toss a little bit of brown sugar on there and throw it in the oven. That's what I like for some vanilla ice cream on top. Give me the stone fruit rundown again. Stone fruit. I got some port, okay. a little bit of sugar, cinnamon, a little black pepper. That is fantastic. It is. I'm telling you what, mm. the stone fruit. Mark Murphy. Mm. It is. Who knew you had a you, you don't even You don't even want the uh, crumble. I got to be honest with you. I'm sitting there eating it, and I'm like, I don't even miss the crumble or miss the strudel or whatever it might have been.